Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. Last day we have discussed about how to install uh, any package through npm. So in this video we are going to install an important package that is a nodemon package, right? You can say nodemon package or nodemon module. In this video we are going to discuss about nodemon package. So basically we will learn why we need nodemon or what is nodemon, how to install nodemon how we use nodemon and i will explain with some example what is the basic difference between node and nodemon right so from the very beginning what is nodemon actually nodemon is a tools or you can say a simple package basically it helps to build your node.js application all right actually when you run any or simple application or node application basically every time it needs to restart so just like if i check any example simply i just going to print console log and uh, simply write uh, node js tutorial right and if you want to run this application suppose i just going to run this so simply here write uh, node and the file name that is index.js and just enter we can see this node.js tutorial is printed here and after that it stopped the server right so if i just want to uh, change any things uh, node.js tutorial from learning points right i just change in something but we are not getting output means if i just want to uh, get the output we need to run this server again so we are getting the output the nodemon solves this problem we don't need to restart every time for every changes actually if i just uh, build a large application or uh, any large project and there is a uh, lots of things uh, lots of changes and suppose you are creating any uh, api and there is already database connected or database related things you need to check all the things uh, all the time and every time you need to restart basically it will take lots of time so nodemon solves that problem basically in current scenario if you check almost 99 percent project uh, using nodemon right for just time saving so how it's saving time i will show you after installing the nodemon so before that we need to learn how to install nodemon and how to access this right so simply just go to the browser and let's search nodemon right and uh, here is the npm js basically all the package we can get from here that is the npm js and this is the installation code npm i nodemon i means install you can write npm install nodemon uh, whatever you want but the thing is npm i nodemon and if you check there you can see is some installation process and there are some extra things and there is some uses and all those things you can uh, read from here and this is the npm package uh, sites so let's copy this and let's try to install into your application so simply uh, just write npm i nodemon to install nodemon now here my operating system is ubuntu so if you are windows user you don't need to write anything else you simply just run npm i nodemon and it will install your application and if there is any warning or if you get any problem you can simply run your command prompt and from there you can run your new cmd uh, through administrator then it will install but for mac or linux based user you need to use the sudo right so to install something uh, there is some uh, security reason and there is uh, we need to use the password right so to install uh, you need to use sudo npm i nodemon right and here if i just want to install one time and use in every project then we can uh, install nodemon globally right so for install in globally we need to simply use minus g so if you write minus g and you install your nodemon anywhere you can use that from anywhere all right so now just enter this so basically to ask for password as we are using the sudo so just enter the password and it will install nodemon into your system right so it's installing basically it may take a few times um, let's say so it's installed 
right so the new page version of npm available okay so let's see the difference so after installation of uh, nodemon what actually changes so let's clear this so now if i just run this node index.js we are simply getting this output right so instead of these things if i just write nodemon right and index.js basically it will start the server and it's printing the output and when we just change anything suppose if i just want to write any other console log and here write nodemon tutorial sorry sorry uh, nodemon tutorial then it will automatically upgrade the output right so we are getting two output but when we just use the simple node then we are getting the output and it will just uh, stop the server right so using node one we can save the time and after changing anything so simply if i just anything right simple console log and next day we'll learn about so next topic is basic api with node right so now if i just check we are getting the output directly so we can understand how nodemon helps to develop and how fast we are getting so instead of restarting server each and every time we are automatically getting this output right so that's the reason we are basically using the nodemon right so now we can understand how you can install nodemon and why we use nodemon and we are getting some example so hope you will like this example and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so next day we are going to discuss about the basic api with node.js basically when we talk about node.js basically every company or every industry will ask to develop any api with node.js and actually it's specially used for building any api so next day we'll start with that things so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day